I came across a recent online forum where one user posed the question, my boyfriend has never comforted me when I am sad or mad through arguments. Instead, he will become even more angry with me. Mm -hmm. He will eventually give me a poker face, which hurts me. Am I not understanding enough? So what are your thoughts on this? And are you guys able to actually keep your poker face when you're having a dispute in public? So, like, they were at a party or something, and he got mad at her? And I guess instead of trying to comfort her or get her through the situation, instead he gets more angry. And gives her a poker face. What kind of boyfriend does that? Who, who, who? I, I think this is proof of, like, if you don't know how to control your anger. Obviously, there's so many situations in life that you get into where, um, you know, it's an uncomfortable... I mean, guys, we argue with our spouses or sure, your but, kids. Yeah, I was going to say, I learned how to fake it from my mom. Like, you know, where you get the side eye because you yes. know you've done something wrong in public, but then you got to wait to get home yes. mm -hmm. to get the punishment. In so, church, all the in time. In church, we exactly, do that all the time. exactly. But if it's my boyfriend... I keep it cute and classy. Right. Because, first of all, yeah. you know, I don't want people thinking, you know how people already think. When yeah. you're in an interracial relationship, people, they just be looking for something. Right, <laughs> that's <laughs> true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's like, it's not even like that. It ain't even that serious, y'all. trouble Seriously. in paradise. Yeah, yeah it's so trouble I just <laughs> be like this, James. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we get home. I feel like what is the context of the conversation that you can't compose yourself? Like, do you think there are scenarios where it's like, I would not be able to... Obviously, if I think... If you found out he was cheating, Correct. I think anything Ooh. that's explosive Correct. like that, you may not be able to contain yourself. But anything else, I would say, babe, let's talk about it at home. Like, well, I don't want yeah. to embarrass you, and I don't want you to embarrass me. And I think that's yeah. the way, but one time, I was at the airport, right? Mm -hmm. And I was minding my own business, uh -huh. and this lady was on the phone, and she was going off because she was talking to her husband, and the husband took the other woman on a trip. And when I say that woman was upset, She has was, the right to go off. And she went <laughs> off. She was going off on the phone, Ooh, and I was trying not to listen, that. you know? But then she started getting emotional, and I felt like, okay, I need to wait for her to get off the phone, because we was about to get on the plane. Oh, and he I didn't wasn't know there in person. He wasn't there. Okay, he was okay. on, she was on the phone, oh, and yeah. she was just going off on him, like, why, how could you take her, and all this? Wow. And I was really trying not to listen, but I had to listen. <laughs> but that's a time <laughs> where you can't control yourself. I, yeah. Again, I do get that part of, like, if this is, like, a cheating, explosive moment, yeah. then I get that. But other than that, if you're finding that you're having little right. rifts with the person and they can't control their anger... That's a problem. That's a problem. And it definitely should be looked into. Like, why is it that these little arguments that we're getting into are becoming... Yeah. Yeah, it's you know, but one time I was on a double date. She be seeing and everything. Me and my ex-boyfriend, this is a long time ago, this is about 15 years ago, right? So we sitting there on a double date, and he was there, his, and it's somehow we got on something political. Okay. And we just were not agreeing with it. And you could tell we were like arguing with each other, but yeah. not yelling. But it was like, so what about this? Well, what about this? And the poor little couple here was just looking at us, and I felt so bad. Ugh. And that's what made me realize, you know what? When, especially if you're on a double date. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't yes. do that. Don't you do don't want to be that couple that nobody wants to go on a double Everybody date with. Felt, yeah. Exactly. That's the worst.